I got an email from someone that said, hey, we would like to pilot a program in Pickens County. Would you be interested in trying to get that off the ground? And the answer was 100 times yes, because we work hand in hand with the Career Center anyway. And we got to thinking, who's gonna take our spots? Who are we grooming to take our spots? We don't need the additional employees now. We need the additional employees in 10 years when we've got nine guys that are gonna be hitting retirement age in 10 years. We need the young guys to shadow the guys that have been in the trade for a while so that they learn it's not just book knowledge, it's not just machining knowledge, it's, it's a general knowledge of how to work. We just got started, but uh, it was easy to get it implemented. We already, we just took our adult program and we pared it down to basic skills that we want the kids to have when they come to us. We want kids that have a basic knowledge of machine tool because they, there's so many different careers coming out of machine tool. We're just one of 25 different careers that they can have. So we want kids with a basic knowledge and that's what those folks down at the Career Center provide is the basic knowledge that we can build on. They have some, some basic skills that they need to start with us and then we'll provide the rest of the knowledge from there. We started out doing an internship uh, where we wanted kids to come in as juniors to come in and work after their junior year and during the summer. And we're gonna put them to work. The only way to really find out whether somebody wants a job or wants to work is put them to work and see what they have. See if they can do it. See how much they're willing to ask questions. How much do they want to learn? So we get an idea of their work ethic, whether they'll show up on time, the soft skills, the communication skills that not a lot of kids coming out of the schools today have. They'll go from their junior year, they'll come back to school, and then second half of their senior year, they'll co-op, and then from that, they'll go right to Tri-County Tech, get a two-year degree in machine tool technology, and it should be through with our four-year adult program by that time as well. In 10 years, when these guys are ready to retire, we have guys ready to step in and take their place. So we're hiring based on talent, not on the needs of the company. It's not just United Tool and Mold growing, it's Pickens County growing. That's what we want. The more skilled tradesmen we got coming out of the Career Center, the more investing other companies will do in our county by bringing in more work, in our state by bringing in more work. So if we can help get the ball rolling, all the more better. If business didn't go back to the school district and say, how can we help? Then we have no reason to sit here and complain about, well, we, we, don't, we can't find anybody. The kids coming out of the high school aren't that good. We share some of that blame because we haven't went back and said, this is what we need. You need to work on soft skills. You need to tell them if they miss three days of school, they miss three days of school, they miss three days of work, they're going to be looking for a new job. And so it's important that the school district comes to and asks for help from business, but it's also important for business to go back and say, this is what we need. How can we help you? You can't put into words what Apprenticeship Carolina has meant to our company as far as helping us set a path. We had a vision, we had the drive, we just didn't have a map. And we needed someone with a road map to show us, oh, now you need to do this, now you need to do this, now you need to do this. And Apprenticeship Carolina said, it came in and said, tell us what you want and let us do the work. If we hadn't have done it back then, we wouldn't be where we are now.